So we've been hearing a lot of concerns around the country about uh, exposure to people of Asian descent or eating Asian food or maybe even products that were imported from China or other parts of Asia. I'm Dr. Adam London, director of the Kent County Health Department, and I'd like to tell you a quick story, a true story that, that I experienced recently because I didn't really know that this was happening as, as often as I think it may be actually happening in the community. I was enjoying lunch a few days ago at one of my favorite restaurants. And as I was sitting there, I overheard an elderly couple in the table next to me. And the man was saying to his wife, you know, this might be the last time we can go to this restaurant for a while. Maybe we shouldn't be eating this food. And it's too bad we're not gonna be able to go out to our favorite Asian restaurant much more in the near future. So I had to take a second and, and introduce myself to them uh, and explain to them the same thing that we're trying to explain to communities across the country right now. And that is that people of Asian descent are not a risk for giving you this virus any more than anyone else in the community is. There is no increased risk from associating with or contacting our neighbors, family and friends of Asian descent. Furthermore, there is no risk, no increased risk from eating Asian food or, or handling products that came to us from uh, manufacturing uh, in Asia, China, or anywhere else. I want to make it very, very clear that this COVID-19 situation around the world is not unique to pe people of Asian descent. It is not unique to Asian food or anything else about their culture. This is a virus that, uh, that can affect anyone and is affecting people around the world. So I'm going to get very clear. We can do better than, uh, than projecting prejudice on our Asian neighbors. Uh, they're part of our community and they're not a risk to us. I'm Dr. Adam London from the Kent County Health Department. Please put your questions in the comments section below and keep watching our, our social media page for more updates. Thank you.